Are you feeling overwhelmed by the idea of making your first million dollars? When you're starting from scratch, reaching that million dollar mark can feel almost impossible. You might have heard the saying, the first million is the hardest. But is there truth to it? There are several reasons why this saying rings true. The good news is that once you become a millionaire, reaching your second, third, and fourth millions becomes much easier. Stay with me until the end, and you'll be amazed at how fast $1 million can grow. My name is Chris, and I teach people about money, personal finance, and investing. If you want to achieve financial freedom, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video if it helps you. It's often said that personal finance is 90% behavior and 10% knowledge. Figuring out the behavior part takes practice. One reason it's tough to start building wealth is that people don't know how to manage money. They struggle with saving, spending wisely, and growing their wealth. Many stay poor due to bad financial habits, and changing these habits takes time. Millionaires, however, understand how to handle money. They know how to save and invest wisely. They weren't always great with money, but they learned and developed strong habits. These habits help them even after they become millionaires. They are dedicated, responsible, and know the value of every dollar. Once you build good money habits, you'll start making significant progress. When you first start saving and investing, you might worry about losing money. You might ask, what if the stock market drops? What if real estate prices fall? What if I buy at the top of the market? These concerns are normal because you don't have a large cushion compared to experienced investors. Wealthy people worry less because they have a big safety net, allowing them to take bigger investment risks. They can invest in higher risk, higher reward opportunities. Even if they lose some money, they can still pay their bills. Someone with $5,000 or $10,000 might be afraid to lose it because saving that amount takes a long time. They will still be smart about their investments, balancing risk and reward. Millionaires are skilled investors, so they know how to protect and grow their capital. For instance, they won't risk all their savings on a single stock or put everything into cryptocurrency. They prefer proven assets with a history of making money, like real estate, broad market index funds, ETFs, and businesses they know. They also use leverage carefully and wisely. Most millionaires avoid bad debt or loans that don't bring in money. They've paid off most of their debts, freeing up their income and avoiding payments on depreciating assets like expensive cars. If they have a loan, it's usually low interest debt used to invest in assets that offer higher returns. Wealthy individuals often use low interest debt to their advantage. They finance assets that generate income, which exceeds the interest they pay. This might include investment properties that offer good returns. Before making their first billion, many people focus on paying down student loans or credit card debt, which don't impact their net worth much. Banks are inclined to lend money to individuals who demonstrate strong financial management skills. This is because lending to a well-qualified borrower significantly increases the likelihood that the bank will not only recover the principal amount, but also earn a profit from the interest on the loan. Wealthy individuals often find it much easier to secure loans for investments that are anticipated to yield substantial returns. For instance, millionaires and affluent investors are in a better position to obtain financing for purchasing businesses or real estate. This is largely due to their substantial assets and financial resources, which serve as collateral and reassure lenders of the borrower's ability to repay the debt. When banks evaluate potential borrowers, they consider several factors, including credit history, income stability, and existing assets. High net worth individuals typically possess a robust financial profile, which reduces the risk associated with lending. Their assets not only provide a safety net for the bank, but also increase their borrowing capacity. As a result, they can leverage their wealth to acquire lucrative investments, further enhancing their financial standing and generating additional wealth. Banks are more willing to lend to individuals who handle their finances effectively, as this lowers the risk of default. Wealthy borrowers, with their ample resources and strong financial track record, are particularly favored making it easier for them to secure funding for profitable ventures and asset acquisitions. Access to capital, when coupled with a solid understanding of investment strategies, opens up a wealth of opportunities. 
For individuals with modest savings, securing loans from banks to make significant investments can be challenging. Financial institutions often view those with limited savings as high-risk borrowers, making it difficult to obtain the necessary funds. However, as one's wealth increases, the relative impact of additional funds on investments diminishes. Despite this, the rate of growth in your investments accelerates significantly. This is because the compounding effect of your investments becomes more pronounced as your wealth grows, leading to increasingly rapid accumulation of assets over time. Consider this. If you invest $50,000, it might increase by $5,000 over the course of a year. If you invest $500,000, your investment could potentially grow by $50,000 in that same year. And for a $1 million investment, you might see an annual increase of $100,000. This growth highlights the remarkable power of compound interest. For example, a $100,000 gain in just one year is a substantial amount when compared to what you might be able to save from your personal income over that time. This illustrates how investing wisely and harnessing the power of compound interest can lead to significant financial growth, often surpassing the growth you can achieve through personal savings alone. The more you invest, the more you can potentially earn, thanks to compound interest working in your favor, demonstrating how effective long-term investing can be in building wealth. Reaching your first million dollars can often be the most challenging part of building wealth, as it typically requires a combination of hard work, disciplined saving, and smart financial strategies. This initial milestone often takes the longest to achieve due to the need to establish strong financial habits, gain experience, and build a solid foundation. However, once you've reached that first million, the process of accumulating additional wealth can become significantly faster. This acceleration in wealth accumulation is largely due to the power of compound growth combined with a solid understanding of money management principles, risk assessment, and strategic investing. With $1 million already in place, you can potentially see substantial growth even if you choose to stop contributing additional funds. For instance, investing in a diversified portfolio such as the S&P 500, which historically has delivered an average annual return of around 10%, can continue to grow your wealth. This means that, with the power of compounding returns, your initial investment can expand significantly over time, without the need for ongoing contributions. In essence, reaching that first million creates a strong financial base from which further wealth can grow more rapidly thanks to the benefits of wise investing and the compounding effect of returns. If you start with an initial investment of $1 million, you could see that amount double to $2 million in approximately seven years, assuming a steady growth rate. After another four years, your investment could increase further to $3 million. Continuing on this growth trajectory, it could potentially reach $4 million in just three more years. Therefore, the total time required to grow your investment from $1 million to $4 million would be around 14 years. In contrast, if you're starting from scratch and decide to invest $500 each month with an average annual return of 10%, it would take you about 29 to 30 years to accumulate $1 million. This longer time frame illustrates the impact of starting with a smaller initial amount versus having a larger sum to invest right from the beginning. The snowball effect is a compelling and powerful force in personal finance. It demonstrates how small, consistent actions can lead to significant results over time. One of the most vivid examples of this is compound interest. Once you've managed to build up a solid nest egg, you'll truly grasp the impact of compound interest on your wealth. At first, the growth may seem modest and incremental. However, as your investment grows, the interest you earn also starts to earn interest, creating a snowball effect that accelerates the growth of your wealth. If you're finding that reaching your first million dollars feels like a distant dream, it's important to keep in mind that wealth building is a gradual process. The early stages of accumulating wealth may appear slow, but don't let that discourage you. As you continue to save and invest, your wealth begins to compound and you'll witness how rapidly your financial situation can improve. The key is persistence and patience. While progress may start slowly, 
over time, the momentum you build can lead to astonishingly rapid growth. So, stay focused and committed, and you'll eventually see the remarkable acceleration that the snowball effect can bring.